I, I've got to say something cheeky or clever for these opening tiles. I, 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 I can't keep going. What's up, guys? Welcome to the uh, Arctic Hope studio. Great to have you guys here with me for today's Hope on Demand episode. I have to talk... I have to talk quietly because the twins are sleeping right behind me. So I have to speak extra soft today because the twins are sleeping right behind me. Hope your weekend was great. I had a good weekend. We're in lockdown now. You know, I was thinking about this whole idea of hope and where do we find our hope? Where do we get our comfort from? So this idea of where do, where is our hope, right? Is our hope in, in our the value of our homes? Is it in our jobs? Is it, is it in the stock market? Is, is, it, is it in our health care? You have to look at that and you have to you have to say that if our hope is in those things, at some point, those very things, they, they can fall apart. Like even if, if our hope is in people, like leaders or, or friends, you know, as great as friends can be, you know, friends can let you down. And as great as our leaders are sometimes, they're, they're still humans. And, and we've seen time and time again of, of our political leaders making bad decisions. We've seen, we're all just human beings. And that's, that's my point is, is there's a lot of things that we can put our hope or our faith in to, to make us feel secure or, you know, to bring us some degree of, of comfort. But the reality is all of those things will fail or can fail, which really brings into question, you know, how safe or secure those things are. And there was this one guy, his name was Abraham, Father Abraham, he had many sons. Well, Abraham didn't, I mean, he was 100 years old when God spoke to him and told him that he would, he would have a son. Abraham was an old man, well past the age uh, that he, he would be able to uh, get a lady pregnant. And his wife, Sarah, was, was around 90 you know, about this time. And God told Abraham that he would have a son and that he would be a father of many nations because God loved that Abraham trusted him, that Abraham had faith in him. And in Romans chapter 4 and verse 18, it says, even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping, believing that God, sorry, believing that he would become a father of many nations, for God had said to him, that's how many na descendants you will have. In verse 19, it says, and Abraham's faith did not weaken, even though at about 100 years of age, he figured his body was as good as dead. And so was Sarah's womb, Sarah, his wife. In verse 20, it says, Abraham never wavered, never uh, swayed at all in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger and in this, he brought glory to God. In verse 20, it says, he was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promises. It's a, truly a beautiful, a beautiful scripture because, because God is someone that you can put faith in. God is someone that you can trust that he wants great, really, really good things for your life. Well, how do you know that, Stephen? <laughs> This is an this is an imaginary figure. You you can't see him, right? You, there's aside from the Bible and I guess the stories of people who've been impacted by him, by God that is. What evidence is there to showcase God's love? He sent Jesus to die for you. He gave his something that was most precious to him for you and didn't even stop him from 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 dying on a cross. Did not withhold his own son from from you and from me. So I think I think you can trust someone who, who goes to those lengths to, to get you, that places that high of a value on your life, that, that wants you to know him that bad, that he would give something so precious to him. And now look, I, I, I get it. I mean, I, I understand that it's a hard thing to believe sometimes. Reality is, if you just ask, and if you just say, God, you know, I'd love to believe this, but if you can just speak to my heart, if you're even alive, that would be... That would be phenomenal. That's where it starts. It doesn't have to start with a big, you know, miraculous thing. I mean, it's awesome when it does. But for me, it was just, I started asking those questions and, and God really showed up in my life. And I'm praying that he does the same to you. So, love you guys. God really is someone that you can put your hope and your trust into. And uh, when you do, just watch God move in the most amazing ways in your life. See you guys in the next video.